Okay, listen, I am not out of ideas, alright? It's just the fact that the, the next video I want to do is going to take some time, and I, <laughs> I, I haven't started. But listen, I'm going to start soon, and I don't... I don't want to, like, the two viewers that watch me, they're going to be hyped as fuck. Like, holy shit, new Meow Me is coming, and it it's not some <laughs> Skyrim mod that ruins the game in pure chaos. If the Bard's College was here, I'd put it in a waste of time, because you don't get to do anything. You don't even get to use the fucking instruments. It's like a one-step quest. You go to this dungeon, get the thing, and then you present it. I wish the Bard's College would allow me to play, like, the lutes and drums without mods. Like, come on, bro. Like, what's the point of adding instruments if I can't play them? Now, now that we have that out of the way. um, I guess we'll start with the Dawn Guard. Uh, the Dawn Guard, Castle Volkahar. I love the Dawn Guard DLC. I think it is so fucking good. It doesn't even matter which side you choose. It ultimately ends up the same besides, like, a few different quests. I, however, am an edgy boy. I love vampires. So I'm going to put Castle Volkahar in S tier. Because Vampire Lord is fun. Uh, Serana is Serana. I mean, you get, them, you, you get her in both. But like, you know, Serana. And I mean, even her dad. Like, her dad's a piece of shit. But at least he's cool when he does it, you know? Not, I'm not. <laughs> he's just, he's cool, okay? If we're not looking at any of the, uh what would you call it uh, shitty things he does as a parent he's cool all right so and the side quests i feel like are a bit more fun so we're just gonna do the castle volcar because castle volcar sends you into redwater den the best the best spot like i am posted in redwater if you want to find me find me in redwater that's all i'm gonna say uh while we're on the topic dawn guard it's good it's good a tier, just because the DLC is fucking phenomenal. Uh, the Thieves Guild. Uh, listen. C tier. What do you do as a thief besides Golden Glow? Golden Glow is the only thing that is remark- Like, any type of reminiscence of a thief. Like, why am I, as a thief in a Thieves Guild, not going into people's house and robbing them? Or stores and robbing them. Those are the side quests. And like you don't really get anything out of them. Like I. um, Like I, the main story. Like sure it's cool. Nocturnal, Skeleton Key, Mercer. But like I shouldn't be having to go into these fucking ruins. And. I don't. I, I just wish in Elder Scrolls 6. The Thieves Guild is more of thieving. Kind of like Robin Hood. Like, in Oblivion, I may be looking at this in rose-colored glasses. I, Oblivion was the first game I played, and I love it. I'm in love with Oblivion. I, I... I think that... Like, the final mission of Oblivion, stealing the Elder Scroll from the Imperial City's, like, vault or whatever... Oh my god, that was so good! It's so good! Like, because in, the in Oblivion, the Thieves' Guild... You're actually stealing things. You're not going into random fucking dungeons and trying to st stop the fucking fates of time or some shit. I'm getting too emotional about this. Listen, for what it is, it's fun, but like after like you just kind of wish you were more of a thief than anything. It is a fun quest line um and like the nightingale armor is cool as fuck. Uh I really like Nocturnal's design in this game and you know it's just, I I don't know. I wish I wish you would do more thieving. That wasn't pointless side quests. That you know. So, the, I mean, I guess it's not pointless because you, quote unquote, rebuild the thieves guild. But like, the vendors there just are dog shit. Like you might as well just keep going to White Run. You know, we're always in White Run. Oh, I need to go smithing. Like I need to I need to smith some armor. I'm in White Run. You know, it's just, <laughs> I don't know, I may be the only one that just goes to Whiterun for everything. Um, College of Winterhold. Um, I'm gonna put it in B tier. 
because if you were playing a mage class, there was nothing like if you if you the first thing you do as a mage is go to the College of Winterhold, you have the Archmage's robes, and that will last you the entire game without even getting into enchanting or smithing. I mean, obviously, you could get better stuff if you enchant and, and, and smith and, you know, do all that fun stuff, but, like, if you don't like any of that and you want to be a mage, rush, rush this. Like, well, don't rush it if it's your, you know, first time going through it. Enjoy it. It's a good quest line. But the Archmage's robes is just so good. And it, and you get a free room and you get uh, vendors for really good spells as you level up. I think it isn't a waste of time unless you're a mage. Like, it's not a waste of time if you're a mage, but if you're not a mage, then it, it's kind of fucking pointless. Because what are, you, what are you going to use the Archmage's robe for if you're Stealth Archer or Two-Handed Warrior? You know, you catch my drift. Uh, I think it's okay. I think I think the story overall is okay. I mean, you get to beat the shit out of Mana Marco, not Mana Marco. Oh my God, Encarno. <laughs> you get to beat the shit out of Encarno, and that just Encarno is probably the most well designed and NPC in the game because like you hate him. You hate him. Like, his smug, like, his face matches his personality. It's smug. His voice actor did amazing. Like, I don't know. It's very, it feels very good when you kill him. Uh, the Imperials. Ah, fuck, I don't. The Imperials and, like, Stormcloaks, they're gonna go into the same tier. Uh, I mean, the, the Civil War questline, honestly could be better and there are mods that make it like amazing like i uh i'll put them on the screen here but these mods like actually make the civil war feel like there's a civil war because skyrim is all about the internal bleeding of a country Con like that that's i want to feel it you know i want to feel the civil war and you just don't and the and like the main and the main point of it is you just going to get forts like how the fuck is that solving anything like why am i like if i choose stormcloaks you raid white run why am i not raiding like markarth or uh fucking i'm blanking on the name fucking falkreath oh my god there it is it came to me like why am i not raiding falkreath markarth fucking winterhold Dawnstar, Morthal, like, why am I not raiding these other towns? Why am I only doing the forts? Like, you know, it just doesn't make sense. Okay, well, my fucking PC just turned off out of fucking nowhere. I actually think I unplugged, or, uh, touched the cord with my foot, so... That's my bad, but now we're back to- I forgot what I was saying. Um... But yeah, uh... It's C tier, uh, it doesn't really do anything besides, like, change Jarls, and, like, besides you'll see, like, Stormcloaks or Imperials in some cities. That, that's about it. Uh, it's entirely up to you and your character. Like, me, personally, I like to RP with my Skyrim character. So, like, if I'm making a Dark Elf, obviously I'm not gonna go with a Stormcloak, because they're fucking racist. You know, so it's stuff like that. It, it doesn't really matter but uh the companions waste of fucking time besides the werewolf if the werewolf would put it a c but this compa like i i am the number one companions hater it is so goddamn boring and rushed like i get that like they say that there's no leader of the companions but then at the end you're the leader of the companions huh make it make sense and that's a problem with most of these fucking factions Actually, all of these fucking factions. You join, you play for like six hours, like three in-game days, and then you're the leader. Like, it makes no sense. Like, why am I the leader of the dark? Like, I get the I'm the listener, but shouldn't Nazir lead it? He has more experience. Like, I may be the listener, but I don't know how to run the fucking guild. Anyway, and like the same with the Thieves Guild. Like, why isn't, like, fuck, like, I, Brynjolf said he didn't want to, and... Carlia was like, ah, you should be the leader. But, like, what about Devrim? Vex? Other people that's been in the guild longer. Uh, same with the college. 
Like, I get that... Like, I get that some of them died, but like... Tolfdir? Tolfdir would be great. Tolfdir would be a great Archmage. He would... Like, I don't know. It, I just have a gripe with it. I know other people do, so I'm not crazy, but uh, the companions... Werewolf is fun. Not as fun as Vampire, though. Sorry, not sorry. But it... It just doesn't feel fulfilling at all. Uh, the Fighters Guild in uh, Morrowind and Oblivion, I think, were, were a lot better. So, uh, it gets a waste of time. I, I usually never even touch the companions anymore, so... Uh, I, I, if I do plan on being a werewolf, I will do the companions, but I usually just don't even fucking touch it. Oh! Oh, there is Bard's College! Waste of fucking time! I didn't even see that. <laughs> Waste of time, you don't get anything out of it. Do not do- like... D what's the fucking point of a Bard's College faction if I can't even become a fucking Bard? Like, there's- It- it really pains me that I have to download a fucking mod to make a faction work. Dark Brotherhood... A tier. Fucking A tier. It's so good. Assassinating the Emperor. Um, betrayal. Actually, you know what? Just because it's this, just Skyrim, I'm putting it in S. I'm putting it in S. Um, like, it, it's so good. The characters, ba like, it's so good. Um, I love, I love the betrayal. I love it. It comes out of fucking nowhere. Like, you're about to assassinate the Emperor. You're running out, and then you realize you're trapped. You've been set up. And it is so fucking good. Cicero, I find him very annoying, but he's so well done. Uh, I like Baybell, like, even though she's, like, pretty, like, irrelevant, like, just, like, the fact that they added her in there with, Liz, like, Liz is my favorite. The spider, Liz, oh my god. Gabrielle, it's so, so good. Vizara, woo, Vizara. R.I.P. my boy, he did not deserve that. Vizara went through some shit. He got stabbed by Cicero, helped you assassinate the Emperor's daughters and ruin their her wedding, and then, you know, like, he dies, so... Uh... Yeah, he didn't have a really good time, but I really like Vizara. Uh, so yeah, that's my tier list, uh, f for the factions. I, like, they're fun, but they're really lackluster compared to like Morrowind and Oblivion and now I'm not trying to glaze Oblivion Oblivion does have some bad fucking faction quests but I think they were just well more designed than Skyrim's okay so I saw the toughest Skyrim bosses um IMO there's not really tough ones except for a few or except for like one and I'm looking at them but um We'll start with the obvious Frost Troll at the top of the world. I didn't even write that down. Whoever made this tier list wrote that down and they're so right. This is the like this is the toughest troll in the fucking game. They made this troll so hard for no reason. And it, I don't like he, he has to have like a million health. Because Alduin Alduin is fucking weaker than him. Swear to God, it's not even the level. You could come back at level 80 and still struggle against this boss troll. But uh, I already put all the win that week. Uh, just spam dragon rend. Spam dragon win until you win. That's it. Really, really disappointing final boss. Even on legendary, I've beat the game on legendary like twice. He's not. He's not even that hard because all you have, because by that time, you're over leveled, over geared, and you just spam dragon rend and you win. Harkin. Actually, I'm gonna put Alduin in pathetic. Harkin, he's strong. Uh, if you have shit aim with Ariel's bow, then yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight. Um, and the and and that gargoyles he spawns. Yeah, I guess. Oh my god, the PT. My fight or flight just fucking went on. Holy shit, we're gonna not listen to that. We'll listen to Ariel's ascension though. Um, it's, I don't, Harkin, he's a solid boss, uh, he's not too tough, not too weak, so I'm just gonna put him in strong. This man, this man right here. 
Holy fuck. Karstag. Karstag is fucking tough. It doesn't matter what difficulty you're on, Karstag will fuck you up. I'm surprised the Ebony Warrior isn't on this tier list. But I guess most people don't get to level 80, so... You know, fair enough. But Karstag definitely is... He's not to be played with. He, like, you could have... Like, unless you obviously exploit the game and make one sword do like 9.9999999999 million fucking damage. He's not gonna be that tough. But like, if you don't, you know, exploit the game, which is really hard to do. Because <laughs> it's fun to make a fork do a billion fucking damage. But uh, Karstag is... He, it, you could be on the easiest difficulty, and he'll still fuck you up. Legendary, I tried it. I tried it on Legendary. Never again. He, he was actually so fucking tough. It's crazy. Uh, Mirak. I'm gonna put him at weak. Just cause his fight isn't that tough. You could argue put him in strong, but I'm gonna put him in weak. I've never really struggled against Mirak. He is a cool boss, but he's not that tough. Uh, you'd expect him to be a lot tougher just because, like, the first fucking cutscene in any Elder Scrolls game, like, in an in-game cutscene is with Mirak. So I was like, oh, this dude's gonna be fucking tough. No, the Seekers were harder. The, like, just getting through Apocrypha was harder than fighting Mirak. IMO. Um, the Grim Reaper. I guess I'll put him in strong. Cool boss. Pretty tough. Uh, very, very secret. Like, you have to go out of your way. I guess the same with Karstag. But, um, yeah, he's strong. Uh, most people don't even know this dude's in the fucking game. Uh, you find him in the Soul Cairn, by the way. Uh, he's cool. He's, he's unique, I guess. Um, he's kind of tough. I'd put him with Hark on, like, he's not too tough, but not too strong. I might put him a bit over. But yeah, that's, that's that. It was just, this was, this was quick. I, you know, it was just, it was just something I want to do. Because I saw that it was pretty short. I saw this one. Ranking monsters on how hot they are. Easy. Easy. Ash Guardian. Pass. Full offense. Azura. I'm moister than an oyster. Yep, that that <laughs> that basically describes Azura for me. Um, wait, wait, wait. I gotta. Mafala, Mafala up there too. Actually, we're gonna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, sw I'm gonna switch those around. Uh, okay, Boethia. Clavicus. Full of friends. Dark Seducer. Smash. Dramora Lord. Smash. Mavrunes Dagon. I'm not into four arms, but I get the appeal. Malekith. Not into not into orc gods. Dwemer. Too smart for me. That and they're gone. Like they went to get the milk and left me. Where Fucking Billy, come back. I miss you. Please. Molag Ball. Full of fat. Hold on. Hold on. How, how the fuck do I add another tier? How the, I forget. I'm, I forget how to fucking add. How, how, how the fuck do I add another tier? I want... Oh. Add a row below. Okay. Uh, we're gonna... Do fucking... Oh, wait. No, no. Okay, um, piece of shit, um, wait, I can't really, piece of poop, there we go, piece of poop, molag ball, go, if you don't understand why I hate molag ball, go, go look up how vampires are made in the Elder Scrolls, just do it. And, uh, he's done some other bad shit, too, but, uh, that's probably gonna be, like, the best fucking evidence I have. Meridia. Yeah. Yep. Meridia would get it. 
because like she's gonna grab my balls and be like a new hand touches the beacon like <laughs> golden saint smash hermea mora not in not in the not in the tentacles sorry her scene not a, not a really not really into furries uh jiggle egg Pass no offense. Just for his name, I'd do it. Lurker, full offense. Werewolf, okay. Troll, full offense. Spriggan, smack. Magic anomaly, moister than an oyster, man. That, like when you are when you're fighting those in the college quest line, like I, it was so hard to keep focus. Storm Atronet past no offense uh not into rocks frost atronach too cold my balls would shrivel up back inside my stomach uh flame atronach fucking moister than an oil like i would be like when i say this like i could douse those flames don't look at me like that okay i know i don't have my face cam on but i can tell how you're looking at me don't stop looking at me like that okay <laughs> okay reichling not a pedophile netch couldn't do that. They're like puppies. They're like dogs. Couldn't do it. Gargoyle, like I said, not in the not in the stone, but I, I can see the appeal. Wisp mother, pale lady, moister than an oyster, baby. Wisp. Okay. Namira. Mm. Listen, okay, you can't. Like I know she'd eat me afterwards, but like, hear me out. That's kind of hot. It's kind of hot. Nocturnal. Fucking moister than an oyster. You see that dress? I see that dress. Periite? No. No offense, though. Sanguine? I probably did on our... On our night out, you know? Uh, a night to remember. That's, yeah, that's... I probably already did that, so... I'm gonna just do Smash. Seeker? Smash. Shale Gora? Smash. Dwemer Centurion? Okay. Uh, Dwemer Spider? No. Full offense. Full offense. Dragger Deathlord. Full offense. Uh, dragons. Piece of shit. Uh, orcs. Uh, <laughs> no offense. Bosmer. Okay. Actually. <clears throat> Khajiit. Okay. Argonians. Okay. Dunmer. Yep. Actually. <clears throat> Altmer. Okay. As long as they're not part of the Thalmor. Fuck you, Elowin. Snow Elves. Yep. Charis. <clears throat> Piece of shit. Ice Wraith, piece of shit. Hagraven. Goblin. Oh. Giant. Yeah. Frostbite Spider. No. Falmer, full offense. Actually, piece of shit. Vermina. I want her to give me nightmares about what she's going to do to me. So, like, you know, you can hate me, think I'm weird, but, like, come on now. Come on now, don't lie to me. Imagine, like, just sleeping and having a nightmare about what Vermin is going to do to you. Oh, my God. All right, let's see what else. Skyrim Cities. Yeah, we'll do the Skyrim Cities. So, this probably be the last one I do. But Skyrim Cities, I could I could go on about this, okay? Solitude, I'm gonna put it in an A tier. I like when it is like sundown and you're walking around and you see the blue palace, you know exactly what street I'm talking about. The one from the castle door, dower, whatever you wanna say. From from the castle dower to the blue palace with um, the manor right on the left side with like, that is just so good and the marketplace love it um i really like solitude uh i can see why it's the capital it's a beautiful city but i really think the capital should be windhelm i'm not okay i'm not i'm not going off of the people and the social status of the cities okay so i'm just going off of looks when i play skyrim windhelm is what I, I what i imagine like 
the city to be the capital to be windhelm is so good the palace so cool just the snow and like the darkness it's so so good like go to windhelm at night there's not a better feeling there's there's it's like yeah this is skyrim uh white run i gotta go with s uh the streets of white run that song is amazing probably my favorite song in this entire soundtrack over secunda i know but it is so good um it has everything you there everything you need it has the blacksmith it has enchanting it has alchemy and breeze home is a wonderful house especially as for a beginner because it's the cheapest uh it's so good uh I really enjoy it. I know a lot of other people enjoy it. It's just, it's like the main hub of Skyrim. Every playthrough, you'll be, you'll just be going back to Whiterun for everything for some reason. Don't know why, but you will be. Uh, let's do Falkreath. Listen, and like, I love, I love the Falkreath woods. That is my favorite area of the game. I just wish these cities were lore accurate because Falkreath would be so fucking cool. But instead, it's literally like two townhomes and a Yarrow longhouse, and you're uh, that's Falkreath. Uh, I'm gonna put it at B tier just because I like the setting it's in. Like the wilderness is so good. Riften. I really like Riften. I would put it in A. But, like, right once you walk into Riften, you're greeted with Maul. I don't know you. You here in Riften looking for trouble. And then, you, two steps later, you're running into Brynjolf. You're light on Coinlet, aren't ya? Like, bro, let me just explore the fucking town. I do not want to be... I'm gonna put it in B. I really like the setting, like, the mistiness. Uh, the docks. Uh, I like Riften. Just, uh... Fuck your NPCs. Morthal. Fucking D tier. I love I love swamps and I love that Raven Crone. The uh the Yarl, Raven Crone. Uh literally her name sounds like a witch and she looks like a witch and she's the Yarl of the Marshes. So good. I love it, but Morthal, you got nothing going for you. You are very unpleasant to look at compared to these other cities. Markarth, S tier, the dwarven architecture, the even the palace. The palace is the coolest palace palace in all of the game, like the entire game. I love Markarth. The it is the coolest looking city. So I'm gonna put this there. Yeah, yep, yeah. That that's good. That's that like it. Like Markarth is such a change in every city. Like you go to city, you're like, okay, well, you know, houses, whatever, stone stone bricks and then you go to markarth and it's this beautiful golden silver dwemer architecture and it's so good the layout beautiful i love it love 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 it uh dawn star um put you in c the only thing you got going for you is uh well i guess the museum and nightmares uh not much but uh like I said, going in on sundown, really beautiful area. Winterhold F. The only thing you got is the college. You have literally four buildings, and one of them is burnt down. So, uh, you get an F tier. Because, uh, why the fuck not? I don't like, you're, you're a piece of shit, uh, Winterhold. So. I lied. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more. Okay, sue me. But we'll do this one fast. Dawnbreaker. OP. Fucking OP. It's a good fucking sword. Uh, I believe, like, these images are pretty fucking blurry. Ring of her scene. I don't even, I don't even speak this language, but I already know that says shit. Dog shit. Uh, Ring of Namira. It's good. It's very good for roleplay purposes, and it's just... Solid. Uh, Staff of Nightmares, I believe. Very niche. Very good. I like it. Like, if you use this, like, a lot of people don't because, you know, compared to others, it, it sucks. But I think, I think the idea of it is really unique and it's great. 
No, skeleton key. OP. Like, who the fuck hates the skeleton key? Nobody. Mason Malala, like ball. OP. Cool as fuck. Like, the best looking fucking Daedric weapon, and it's cool as fuck. And it's good. Like, Soul Trap? Uh. Ebony Mail. It's just Ebony Armor that gives people poison damage. Azura uh, Star. Uh. This one will go in good. The Black Star will go in OP. Ebony Blade, OP, just because it's uh, Mafala. Uh, Mayrune's Razor, good. Uh, bad, good. You know, it's okay. Uh, it's better than the fucking Rightful Axe. Okay, uh, good if you hate mages. Fucking great. Nobody can hate that. Uh, Sanguine Rose, sorry, it's shit. Uh, Voldrung, it's fucking. It's okay, and uh, with the Wabbajack S tier. I'm with this up. Yep, that's good. Okay, so um, my so what I plan on doing is uh, I really like Elder Scrolls, as you can tell, but I don't want it to be the main focus of my channel. And like I know, like I like I said, I only have like four fucking viewers that watch me. So, but like I really want to do other things, like uh, Souls games. I really enjoy those. I've really, really enjoy Final Fantasy lately, and like I always have, but like recently I've been wanting to play them all. And like I've wanted to like go over games that are pretty controversial, like people, like games that people think, or the majority of people think that are fucking terrible. Like Dark Souls 2, Final Fantasy 13, or... You know, you get the point. I want to do stuff like that. I, I still will do Elder Scrolls content, just uh, I don't want it to be, like, the main focus of it, so... Um, I'm sorry for the wait for this video. I've just been thinking on what I want to do. And I have it, and it's going to take a while. Because, like, I actually gotta play these games instead of download a mod that makes everything chaotic, so... We're not going to have tension on. Not that one either. Yeah, this one's good. So, uh, anyways, thank you for watching. Um, I know this was... Wasn't, like, you know, one of my regular videos. But, um... I just wanted to do something. And that would also, like, help me explain why, like, I haven't uploaded in, like, three weeks. And... What I wanted to do. Um, so it's going to take some time. But I would rather have more quality over quantity. Like mo like most people would. So uh, it's going to take a while for this next video to come out. Uh, but anyways, I appreciate whoever watches my channel way more than you could ever realize. Um, I know it's only a few returning viewers. But nonetheless, I, I love it. So thank you a lot. Um, better videos better better content is on the way i've kind of been slacking on that and i apologize so anyways have a great day that sounded fucking awful have a great day <laughs>